welcome to BlizzCon 2019. We are here to check out some cosplays as well as the previews for the next games coming out that they have, such as D4. We have WoW, the next expansion, as well as any of the new cards that you're going to have in Hearthstone with the new Overwatch game that was now announced. So let's go on and check it out. Hello there. I am with Malik from BlizzCon All Access. Um, we have been doing. He has been doing some recent reviews on a lot of the games. Uh, what was your personal favorite? Uh, here at BlizzCon 2019, it's kind of hard to pick one particular favorite. Uh, uh, I would go with my bias from my other job, which is hosting the Overwatch League, and say that I'm very excited for Overwatch 2. Uh, I like that they've kind of redesigned the game, or I would say upgraded, upscaled all the character models and just polished the game all together, refine some of the gameplay mechanics and uh, how they're kind of bringing the story missions to fruition as well so we can get a little bit more of the lore of Overwatch. Very excited about that. But uh, also kind of a surprising favorite to me has been Hearthstone Battlegrounds which is basically the auto battler mode that they're adding to Hearthstone. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's the first time you can play Hearthstone with more than just two people. You, know, you can play with up to eight and uh, it's a lot of fun. It reminds me of any typical battle royale situation but it's Hearthstone. It's very awesome. You can learn the fundamentals of Hearthstone if you never played through this mode very easily, and I think that's cool. Alrighty, um, so how, how long have you been coming to any of the BlizzCon uh, events? Uh, I've been coming to BlizzCon for about seven years, and I've been working at BlizzCon for five. Uh, and yeah, this, this year for me has been probably the biggest in a long time. I feel like every major franchise had like a huge announcement to make uh, and something to play. Uh, there was lots of gameplay trailers, which is always awesome because, you know, typically at these conventions, you know, people will make reveals and announcements, but you won't get gameplay to support that. And that's what I've really enjoyed about this BlizzCon is every game had an announcement and gameplay and demos to try out. Even uh, Diablo 4 when they announced it, a lot of people didn't think after they saw that trailer they would be playing the game pretty soon and here we are, you know, people are actually playing Diablo 4. Yeah, no, a lot of people don't really expect that any um, conventions such as BlizzCon to really experiment with a lot of the new updates or new video games that they generally tend to come out with. Yeah. Um, especially like for Overwatch, a lot of the updates that they're coming out with for the second one. Mm -hmm. um, Diablo 4, I know a lot of people have been waiting in, you know, for the next episodes. Um, now, I would say for what was your least favorite one? Oh, my least favorite? I mean, that's that's tough, bro, because, like, I, I honestly, I either like things or I don't. So, um, for me, there was nothing I didn't like. You know, I liked everything that, that was announced. Uh, I guess if, if there was anything I would say I'm uh, not as excited for as everything else, it would probably be... Um, I don't know, that's, that's super hard to say. Uh, I guess I would go with... The Hearthstone expansion, which uh, only because I don't think I have really a grasp on the Hearthstone uh, meta and the competitive scene as much as m many other people do. Uh, that said, that's why I'm so excited about Battlegrounds because I feel like I'm going to learn more about it. So f announcements like that will mean a lot more to me moving forward in the future. Uh, so yeah, and again, it's. It's not that I wasn't excited about it. I would just say it's probably the thing that uh, when I heard about it, I was like, okay, that's cool. But everything else had me pretty much screaming. Oh, yeah. You know, at the, Especially you know. that Diablo 4 trailer. It was, oh, yeah. the cinematics were beautiful as well as the gameplay that the end. Plus, they're bringing back the Druid from 2, which I never got to play 2 or 1. So yeah. I get to experience some of the past uh, games that they have actually, since they're implementing all of them in the new one. Mm -hmm. um, alrighty. And so where can we find you aside from watching BlizzCon All Access? Where else can we find you on? social media. Yeah, uh, you can find me at Malik, M-A-L-I-K, number four, P-L-A-Y, Malik Four Play. Uh, um, that's me across all social media platforms. Uh, pop up on the Overwatch League here and there, uh, other esports tournaments, uh, and working with developers at different conventions. Try to be all over the place these days. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. Thank you, man. Enjoy your BlizzCon. Oh, alrighty. So we are here at BlizzCon 2019. I do have here with me a cosplayer, one of my great friends, Liz. So what? Uh, how are you enjoying the convention so far? I'm enjoying it very, very much. It's my first time actually here, so it's overwhelming, but it's amazing. Everything, Overwatch 2 being announced, amazing, everything's amazing. It is actually very intimidating having all these people here, being a first timer for myself as well. Um, what are you looking forward to the most about BlizzCon? 
obviously Overwatch 2. It seems very interesting. A lot of new designs, a lot of new uh, modes. Not to mention, we also have Overwatch 2 coming out. So that's that's another one. There's new heroes. It's really exciting. Um, and which one's your few, favorite hero? My favorite hero. Wow, that's hard. Um, I really love Widowmaker. I'm really interested in McCree, and Diva is one of my favorites too. <laughs> All right, and where can we find you for any of your current and or future viewers? Everywhere, almost everywhere. My name is Lumina Lisa. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Where else is there? Twitch. Snapchat. Snapchat, yeah, everywhere. All right, and just for you guys that don't know, it'll be L-U-M-I-N-A-L-I-S-A. -I -I All righty, thank you very much. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Who do we have with us today? Ian Pabito. Alrighty, I'm Tara, and we also have uh, Vincent. Alrighty, um, so we're going to go ahead and let you guys know exactly what we've experienced here at BlizzCon today. Um, we had quite a wonderful time, especially with the opening, uh, the opening sequences. Uh, they were quite amazing with D4, Overwatch, Hearthstone, although that didn't really get much attention, and uh, as well as Warcraft and World of Warcraft. Uh, Ian, what was your favorite parts of the uh, BlizzCon? Overwatch 2, baby! And yeah, to all those people who like Hearthstone out there, me go face, me stupid hunter. <laughs> and what about you, Vince? The best thing that happened was USA won against Korea. <laughs> Woo! And uh, unfortunately, Canada just happened to just <laughs> kick the bucket the whole way down. Alrighty, um, so we have a lot of different things that are coming in today. We had D4, so Diablo 4 uh, is going to be released soon. Um, we also have the new Hearthstone uh, packs that are coming out, which are dragon-based. Um, you have such as Deathwing, Isra, um, who was the other, uh, what was the name of the, the... The one from the Emerald Dream? Not Isra, but the apocalyptic one. It's not Deathwing. No, Galakrond. Galakrond. Gal Galakrond. We have Galakrond in there, and he actually, um, with his passive, he allows you to take over other uh, your hero specifically, and they have a new keyword that they use, which is called Invoke, which allows him to upgrade himself depending on how many times uh, necessary to do so. Um, we also have World of Warcraft's new expansion, Shadowlands, which is also, I just recently heard, they're bringing us back down to 60, rather than being twice as much. Uh, way better. Um, it's not like we're playing classic again now. Um, so we. Uh, what about you, Vincent? What about um, Warcraft or Overwatch? What anything new for that? Uh, besides Overwatch, it's now going to have a story mode. That's going to be interesting. And um, that's about all the information that I remember. All right. Um, what about for uh, Warcraft or anything else that we might have missed in any of the other um, gaming categories? So for Overwatch 2, you're able to play with Overwatch 1 players, so you get to experience with the same skins. They're not going to leave you guys behind. It's awesome. It's great. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, with a lot of what we've had here today, um, it was quite amazing. We've seen a lot of amazing cosplayers. We've played through a lot of these games, and throughout some of these, one of the other later episodes, we'll probably dive into some of the games that we have actually tested out here today. Um, some of them will not be released until a little bit later. Um, otherwise, uh, have a wonderful time, guys. We have Tara here. Uh, terrible insight on Instagram with... Ian Pabito. I am Pabito at Instagram. As well as uh, Vincent Reyes. You can find me on the Vincent Ad uh, Graham Adventure. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much. And back to you, Christina. Welcome back, guys, to our dis. Uh, not our dis. Our. Oh, Jesus Christ. Our dis? No. <laughs> Welcome to our <laughs> podcast episode. This is going to be a special dedicating back to obviously these trio from coming back from BlizzCon and sending it my way. So gonna kind of send it back their way as well in this very special episode we're gonna basically have an overall thought of basically their time at blizzcon i wasn't there sadly because life gave me a few fun challenges along the way so who do we got here today hey guys my name's ian you can find me at all sorts of sites like ipabito.com check it out you know what's a surprise ian 
We finally get to see your face. Oh, wow. What a predicament. Oh my god. Holy oh smoke. Oh my god. Oh my zoinks, ma'am. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that movie trailer too. Shoot. Anyways, who else do we got? We have uh, Vincent and um, yeah, just Vincent. So what's up where, everyone? Where can we find you, Vincent? Um, nowhere. No, I'm just kidding. You can oh. find me on um, the Vincent Graham Adventure on Instagram. Make nice. sure to follow me there for more updates on my stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Who else do we got here? Tara. You can find me at Terrible Insight on Instagram. Nice. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Holy smokes. So since you guys were at BlizzCon, what's the first thing that caught your guys' interest over there? Did you say Overwatch 2? No. Oh, I think they said Overwatch 2. I think they said Overwatch 2. Overwatch well, 2? Let me tell you about mm. Overwatch 2. <laughs> See, they're finally going to be throwing in a story mode. See, really? a lot of people were very confused as to where the sequel could really be. And what the sequel is, is when you play the first game, uh, the very opening scenario is Winston um, talking, you know, to a camera, trying to get all of the heroes back together that are part of Overwatch. Um, and you play through and it's all multiplayer online. So with the continuation essentially the story mode is going to be after that scenario so once he calls them for an emergency they're all going to try to band together to fight the omnix again huh that's actually really cool that's actually really interesting the fact that there is even a story mode at all really and cross play with overwatch one so no one really gets mm -hmm. left behind really so all you the skins all that your we skins get... and everything yep. really wow New heroes, new story. Huh. Heroes, story, new maps, possibly? New maps. Yes. New Definitely maps. Definitely new maps. Definitely oh, new wow. maps. You can't have a multiplayer game without new maps, Christine. Exactly. Come on. Yeah. You'd be surprised, <laughs> Ian. You'd be surprised. So, besides Overwatch 2 being such a big deal, you know, that's number one on everybody's list, apparently, from BlizzCon. What, didn't they announce also some other huge game like I don't know what is it called Diablo 4? Yes, Diablo yes. 4. Yes, Diablo 4 and about time too. So what what makes this game such a big hype? Well, what they're doing with this game is they're bringing back some of the elements from the past game. So like they're going to bring the class druid um, back from Diablo 2 and stuff like that. So I actually get to test out how some of these were played. I never got that chance beforehand. Until Diablo mm -hmm. 3. Yeah. Oh, wow. And also a little uh, player versus player combat zones. It's oh. going to be really nice to, to kill my friends. Wow. <laughs> Give them a good old Castle Crasher uh, greeting. Jeez. Jeez. Because I know, every isn't it going to be like on all systems? Or like what system is it going to be mostly played on? It's Diablo. probably going to be on all the systems, but if anything, it'll definitely be on PC. If yeah, else. definitely sure look PC. out for it first, PC. Oh, wow. Do they have yeah. like a release date for it yet or no? I don't think so. I think they just announced it. Oh, wow. Or did they? Mm -hmm. You guys were there. Keep in mind, I had no clue. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I think Hold I was on. excited about Overwatch. Every Everybody excited for Overwatch, pretty much. Everyone was just really distracted at Overwatch. But let me check it right now. Release date. Nope. It no is currently date. in development so, for uh, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. So yeah, not for a Switch, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, it's for the consoles, but I wasn't sure which console I forgot. Yeah, but yeah, yeah I don't think uh, them Switch and Nintendo would really have a... Uh... I mean, keep in mind, they did just put Overwatch on the Switch. So. Yeah, but didn't they, like, have an issue, like, popping it out themselves? Yeah, I'm... they kind of did. I'm not going to lie. They kind of did. I'm excited for I don't think Lilith. they're going to really care until they manage to get that out first. Yeah, true. What were you excited for, Vince? Lilith, the boss. Yes. In Diablo? Whole... 
<laughs> yeah, double four. Lilith is a good old demon. She oh, came right. back. Exactly. So I think that's what everyone wanted. I could smell the fan art coming in this way from that game, I swear. I can Are smell we, the can, cult. It's going to be great. And and too. also, <laughs> um, everyone's favorite game, World of Warcraft uh, Shadowlands expansion. Oh, I know you... Though. I know you two. I know all three of you play it, so please talk about that. I, I know I've, you guys all heard about it. I played uh, World of Warcraft a long, long time ago. Back in my day. <laughs> back in my day, we used to have uh, a Thrall actually lead the horde. Now we have some zombie lady in the Battles of Azeroth. <laughs> Then we had to get her out of office because she started getting crazy. But anyways, um, Sylvanas Windrunner um, uh, beating Bovar. And I was like really, really mad at that because I was like, but I wanted him to be the Lich King for a little bit longer. But, you know, we don't get that. So uh, Sylvanas takes him down and breaks the Ice Crown and opens a brand new expansion that you can buy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best Inclu segue. Including high level raids, factions, all new character classes. The oh, really? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Oh boy. Because is Battle that for all Azeroth or wait, is that all? Pretty sure we're gonna get more announcements in the upcoming. You mean, news. but wait, there's more. Wait, no, no, there is no wait. There's more. There's wait and see. Eventually, there'll be more. In simple terms. Yes, because it's an MMO, and MMOs always come with more. Just yeah, like how in Battle of back. Azeroth came with a lot of races. Well, yeah. What more could they really come up with, though? Like, more oh, we'll races. See. More races. I mean, yeah, you could honestly. Well, are you ready? Maybe one day they make the Naga race. Maybe. Someday. <laughs> Someday. So, are you ready? Oh, yes? So with this expansion coming to World of Warcraft, what is the biggest change you are excited for with this new expansion? They're bringing it back down to 60. How so? Vanilla. <laughs> Yeah, vanilla. Like Pretty much playing vanilla again. Keep in mind, you're talking to people that have never played. What do you mean, vanilla? Like, come on, explain. It's uh, the ice cream, vanilla. You know, the flavor? Yeah. You yes, it. I know the flavor of vanilla. You can find it's it basic. in the Amazon. It's so burning right now. So vanilla is basic. <laughs> Vanilla is pretty much like the first term. That's pretty much what it is. People always say that, Christina, in other games. So like, basically... I like vanilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically... <laughs> Basically, <laughs> vanilla. Basically, We're... they're bringing it back to its original roots. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. you could have just said that. How did we you did. know? You were oh, really I thought smart. vanilla was kind of obvious. <laughs> There's some people that probably will tune in and be like, this is our first episode. Did somebody say strawberry? No. Yeah, the... No, that's Burning Crusade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roll the Warcraft Chocolate Edition. Anyways, <laughs> tell them about that Hearthstone, baby. Hold on, hold on. I've never got you guys' opinion. What is your favorite thing that they're bringing from this expansion? You, I know that there's a whole it, list, but besides basic, what, like, I know you guys all have something. New raises. No okay, raises. I would like to see what they're, what they're about. Because, like, aside from, like, the Worgen and then what was after that. Oof. Because we we're we're basically going into the afterlife, and we gotta we gotta stop Sylvanas and whatever she's doing. Okay. Because she we gotta we gotta repair the Shadowlands first. So it sounds but, like you got. So it sounds like you, Ian, are more interested in the story aspect. Yes, of course. But 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 but. What are you uh, excited if, for? Is the question. I, I'm excited to come back into World of Warcraft and try to get my Violet Drake that. I need to do by doing all the holiday missions. <laughs> oh boy. I'm almost done. I've been working on it for five years. Jeez. And now I can finally, finally get it done by waiting until summer next year because I've already finished winter, October, 
and no <laughs> what about you vince what are you excited for with this expansion coming to world of warcraft the level 60 cap limit honestly really that's vanilla world of warcraft but yes. exactly that's when i play and i heard that how high it went i was just like no please <laughs> so like, just bring oh it back to the basic 60 and that's it I love World of Warcraft. I just do not play as much as most people. So when I saw that, oh, finally I can actually reach max level and yeah. not be like, you know, this is gonna oh, take I have a to year. Pay. <laughs> and you can Character. feed your hunters again, which is nice. Yes, yes. I remember when I was playing World of Warcraft, I used a little thing called a spell book and nothing else. It was very nice. Uh, oh, I won all the duels. <laughs> I won all the duels. My brain was going on a whole nother level. So the other game that Ian kind of mentioned earlier was Hearthstone is getting something into this as well? Yep. Do you uh, like what is auto it? chess? Oh, no way. They're bringing in the auto mode? Yep, they're going to have an auto battler mode. That's for CPUs? No. <laughs> Even online? Yes. Oh my god, that's gonna be so cheap. Gonna that's be cheap. fun. Fun? How's and that fun? Christina, you just don't understand card games. That's why you don't play one with me. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Whoa! No. Did, you, you just went that direction, <laughs> did you? I always, I always ask if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! You never do. Uh, sorry that I had yeah, an so incomplete the, the, deck? Christina, you, play, you played Madolches and you ran away. My hey, Madolches hey, were not complete. Back BlizzCon. <laughs> all right. BlizzCon, all right. okay, we're not talking Yu-Gi-Oh. That was a few episodes ago. Okay, dude, you <laughs> missed your BlizzCon. chance there. Card games never forget. <laughs> you missed your chance. Heart anyway, card game. back to BlizzCon. So with, obviously, Hearthstone getting the apparently auto duel i'm gonna call it how do you guys feel about that that fact that they're gonna bring auto dueling into hearthstone and do it online too well i mean honestly like it kind of makes sense especially if there's gonna be players who don't really know the best moves to make they can kind of sit back and kind of watch and learn how to play that way when they actually want to sit down and play it they're not gonna actually be as bad yeah, auto play is really cool. kind of meant for people to see how the plays of whatever decks or whatever card game that they're playing. Um, it's a nice teacher. Exactly. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So besides the auto, what else are they adding to Hearthstone? A new pack filled with dragons. Oh, dragons. God. Dragons are yeah. being into the mix, oh boy. So literally, it is becoming the next Yu-Gi-Oh! with all the freaking dragons and auto duels and all that. Jesus Christ. I mean, they always had dragons. It's just more dragons. Yeah, oh, it's, it's pretty more, more dragons. Much, yeah. But it's dragons that are usable for all the classes, pretty much, instead of just, like, priests. Yeah, normally so, like, when I, when I played... Oh. Um, yeah, normally when I played, uh, I remember dragons were pretty, like, hard to summon or really high level. It can only be summoned by the druid, mostly. So oh, wow. I think... I think now they made it like a little bit easier for every class to use dragons at least, and not just the druid. <laughs> yeah, they have it where like uh, the shaman has a spell specifically for them. Um, they also, uh, I think they have one for a rogue. Um, and with that, they also have new dragons from the main series. Hmm. So they'll have such dragons as Deathwing, Isura. Galakrond, and with Galakrond you get a new key keyword. Um, so the keyword is called Invoke, and some of the new basic cards and like other cards will have that keyword. And essentially, what you do is you use those cards with the word Invoke, and it um, allows him to level up. So like for his first one to level him up one time, um, you have to use a card with Invoke twice, and then his character actually takes over your champion. Oh wow. Jeez, that sounds broken. Wow. That sounds really broken, actually. <laughs> I miss so, Jaraxxus. <laughs> so, with the fact that BlizzCon is over and all that, how would you guys rate this year's BlizzCon, like, out on, on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, this was my first one, so... This was my first one? Working it, too, by the way, Ian. You were working the con. Was he? What? 
Yeah, it was. No one I must technically know. Was no one too. must know. <laughs> no one must know. Everybody was no working con. Anyways, but no what's your guys's? Witnesses. But what's your guys's honest opinion? First time, second time. What's your guys's honest opinion? I really I, enjoyed it. I liked it. On a scale of one to ten. One to ten. But there's all so many numbers of one to ten. This I can't just choose one. One to I'm ten. I'm gonna go your with scale? all of them. Okay. What about you, Tara? I mean, I got to have an interview with Malik from Overwatch League and BlizzCon All Access. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Not gonna yeah, lie, that, that is awesome. still pretty cool. Instant ten. <laughs> Instant ten. Oh, also, guys, before before we. Uh, segue out of here i would like to talk about the apple pie at blizzcon um go it was ahead very, it was very delicious uh, i will never eat anything like that again it was really savory really sweet um i'm gonna give the apple pie a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. I, okay. okay and what about you vince what's your opinion about this year's uh blizzcon what would you give it one out of ten um mm, i give it an eight how come? Um, well, my being my first BlizzCon, I could see why it's amazing. I could see why people love it. But I feel like it's one of those cons, and um, from general speaking, if you're a huge fan of Blizzard, this con's absolutely amazing. Okay. If you're, if you're not, you'll feel lost. <laughs> you'll be like, who the hell are these characters? Yeah. Why is it so important? And I feel like I could say that most people for Overwatch, they're only Overwatch fans. They look at everything else and go, what? Huh? Yeah, that, that like, huh moment, yeah. What's your World of Warcraft? Who's Deathwing? I guess I'll face him in Heroes of the Storm in the Nexus. <laughs> <laughs> Another one we forgot to mention. I forgot about Heroes of the Storm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, Heroes of the Storms, they now added Deathwing as a character. Yeah. Yeah. New yeah. forms. I like Heroes of the Storm. What about that Starcraft? My update? favorite is D.Va. I can use D.Va to beat up Janna. Now I can yeah. have my two waifus duke it out. Janna, isn't that isn't what it? we all want? Janna, isn't that the other game? <laughs> I know, StarCraft it? got an update, of course. You guys, I think one of you plays StarCraft, if I remember. Yeah, StarCraft has a new character set, I believe. Nice. Yes, I believe so. Very nice. And then the other, I think that, those were the key games, you know, Dang. Overwatch. There was one more for all you old school players. Now, for Which those of you who never really got into World of Warcraft, they are remaking Warcraft 3. Oh, all Warcraft right. Reforged. Oh, yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Now we can Not watch bad. Gina S S Stormwind uh, <laughs> hang out with Thrall one last time and watch Arthas turn back into the Lich King. And then I gotta do a 40 man raid to kill him. Good lord. Anyways, go ahead. Enough about me. Good lord. Enough uh, about me. <laughs> I'll go on. Oh lord. Anyways, go. This has now. been this has been a very slow conversation that we must speed our way into the next segment. Speaking about speed, isn't there a new character that has been oh I don't know revamped for some some interesting movie based on you know a blue hedgehog you know? Oh yeah, know. 2018 Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, he still looks like a human. Oh man, I love his arms. Yeah, the <laughs> Jimmy, like the Jimmy Carrey live action movie. I mean. Sonic 2019. The Jim he's, Carrey live action. Did you know he's the movie. fastest thing alive? Did you know Everybody's that? reaction to when Sonic. No, 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 no <laughs> sir. That is the Flash. No. Okay, okay. No. I was gonna say when he's the when... fastest man alive. I was gonna oh. say. Oh. I was gonna say the fastest reaction I ever seen was how people reacted to the old Sonic, and they pretty much complained about it within one minute after that trailer was released. Because I will admit that was pretty quick. Never seen people like complain that fast. Garbage. 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 So my question is, with this new trailer that was released, what is you guys' opinion about it? I like, especially when Sonic. they, especially when they completely remodeled the whole character within six months. Keep in mind, for an animator to redo a full, let's say, two-hour movie, 
impressive. It's beyond impressively tough, but... Oh, no, I mean, it was impressive how... Because I thought the redesign was going to be, like, even worse. Or it's going to yeah. be, eh, it's okay. And to see what it looks like now, I'm just like, oh, you know what? This can work. So I think it will be, be a good movie, hopefully. So you think the fact that when they remodeled the character, you think it's going to save the movie a lot better compared to what it was going to be before? Oh, I think it, the it will attract like more trash. I think it will attract more people, but I think they changed the tone of the movie from the trailer. Because it'll look the like that, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully it will kind of like save the movie a little bit more. Or who knows? Maybe it'll be worse. Maybe this will be like the worst movie ever. So we'll never know. It cannot be worse than the, than the Mario live action. I'm sorry. That, that was a movie great was... movie. I'm <laughs> great movie? Dude, Wait, best movie what? ad-up ever. <laughs> what? Out of 10. <laughs> oh, but 20 out of 10. Did what are you, you guys about? know about the facts on who helped? Make the redesign for Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Yes, Tyson Hasey. Continue. Uh, who worked on the animations for everyone's favorite Sonic game, Sonic Mania? Oh really? Yeah. Huh. Oh. He helped uh, redesign Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. That's actually really impressive. Wow, they actually got someone from the video game industry to help them out. I mean, Why didn't they do that at the beginning? Because people don't give a fun, you know? Because they yeah, listen to the survey. Dude, not even the survey. It's just listen to everybody complain about it everywhere on social media. My god. They made it into a joke. Hopefully. How many memes? How many memes existed because of that freaking old trailer? Like, holy smokes. It was great. I love the movie. Yeah, definitely thank Paramount. They 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 hired an amazing guy to help redesign it. No kidding. I'm so happy about that redesign. It actually looks like goddamn Sonic. Thank God. Like compared to its original oh, design, the only key thing that they really gotta fix are the arms. The arms still don't look right. It makes you feel like you're Sonic the Hedgehog. But, but Ian, his arms are still blue. They're not supposed to be blue. Gotta listen, go fast. Listen, it's I'd enough. still rather that than the sh you had before. I'm not gonna complain. Like I said, it does look a lot better. I'm not gonna complain. It looks as, so As much long better. as they bring back the Chow Garden from Sonic Adventure 2, I'm Dude, they need that back in the game. They Can have you... a lot of things they need to put referencing in there. Like Exactly, seriously. like Big the Cat. I yeah, want... Everybody is everybody's <laughs> wanting that. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Big the Cat to pet the Chow and keep petting it. He, so what am he I better be like the petting cat? the Chow as a cameo in this f***ing movie. I think he might. Honestly, I think he might make a quick cameo because there's no doubt that this, this is Sonic for Dude, crying out loud. He was in every Sonic game. You do realize Big exactly. the Cat when he says Froggy, voiced by Vin Diesel. Froggy. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna pet the rabbits, George? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, with this whole revamp and the fact that everybody did complain about it, do you think those people that did complain about it should go see it? Definitely. Definitely. If you're they a kid, they, they better. This is this is a video game movie for kids. Is gonna be great. I it's mean, gonna be great. It's gonna be faggy and faggy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I've been noticing something very interesting now that I think about it. Jesus Christ. I've been noticing that video game movies are becoming more and more a thing. Did you say more? Because they ran out of comic books. Well, yeah, mm. now we've got time to go to video games. Next, you know, we're gonna get Mario the Brothers live action. And no, the old no, we're, we're not making another good. live action movie. Please, Pay God, no. Live action, It'd be great. Featuring those oh, short no, Goombas. Are we gonna knows. get a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate movie? Well, no, Whoa. not for a while. Whoa. I know, I know for a fact that I know that there is gonna be a Mario animated movie. It is gonna come out next year. Now that's I'm what I call an Avengers camera. level threat. It is gonna probably be an Avengers level threat due to the fact that I'm not gonna lie, <clears throat> Illumination, the guys that created the Minions movie, is going to animate this movie. You're telling me you didn't like Secret Life of Pets? The Smash Brothers Cinematic Universe prepared. Oh, 
to. It's, it's, oh, it's dude, gonna be can you thing. imagine if we had an Illumination Cinematic Universe? No! Oh, that'd be great. And then Mario can team up with the minions. There's, oh, there's that's four, your dream, Christina. There's four, no. four movies on Smash Brothers with all the characters. It's gonna be great. Oh, oh dude, God. what if the minions is the fifth character for Smash? Oh my God, yeah. It's gonna be Mickey Mouse. And he and he's go ooh la la, and then he like suplexes Mario. Actually, I'm gonna call it. It's, it's gonna be Hayashi from Tekken. Christina, Christina would clap her hands. She'd be no, like, No, I will ooh. not. And then they have like no, for their for their for their, uh, their ultimate smash is the uh, a, a giant banana. <laughs> oh yeah, they get they yeah they get a banana, shoves it in Mario's big old mouth, <laughs> makes him eat it, wow. goes flying off the stage. Oh, you love it, Christina. I'm crying. Oh, you. Oh, no, because what I'm thinking. Funny enough, when I was hanging out with my friends today, um, we were talking about that a little bit, and we both all agreed. We both agreed that uh, the Goombas from the Mario universe might be the next uh, minions, and I could totally see that, honestly. But they need to wear the goggles and the blue overalls. You see. But they have no hands, Ian. But that'd be perfect. They have no hands. <laughs> Christina, wear overalls. If a Goomba can play Trike harder in Super Mario Party and beat everyone who's to say you need hands they're handy capable oh, whoa. did you just toss a pun at me maybe you oh just i'm so woke now holy sh ah. you should be woke you, you tossed a pun at me you now. should be woke just like a snorlax using pulverizing pancakes you should be woke. whoa whoa pulverizing oh, pancakes. whoa whoa good lord Good lord, we're not even into Pokemon till next week, guys. Pokemon is next week's topic, okay? All right, all right. It is? Because, yes, no, because, no, no, no. well, you because hear, this week- You heard week, it here, folks. You yes, heard it here. Next week's theme is Pokemon due to the fact that Pokemon Sword and Shield is coming out this week. So it gives us time to play it a little bit. Look it out, guys. Look out. That'll be a real look, fun- Look out for that 9.5 out of 10 review from Christina. No, possibly. <laughs> It's Jeez. gonna be better than Luigi's Mansion 3. No, oh, okay, okay, hold the horses okay, right hold up, hold up. there. Christina, hold I think right all games there. should be just created equal. They're all good. I know, whoa, whoa, Were whoa. you a communist? All games are good. No. <laughs> first okay, off, so first China off, told me hold so. on, hold on. First off, <laughs> with, wow. <laughs> Why? Oh, Lord. Can't you see, Christina? Why not? Good no. or bad, really bad or really good, all games are equal. No. <laughs> no. Yes. What I was going to say is, first off, I finally friggin' finished Luigi's Mansion 3. Thank you. So yeah. I can finally give something honest about that eventually. I, I, I will admit, though, the final boss battle, it didn't feel as compelling like the second game. I'm not gonna lie. The second game actually made it more of a threat. This one, I will admit, I love the cutscenes. The cutscenes really made it up for that. And I felt really bad for Mario. I'm not gonna lie. I felt bad for the poor guy in the end. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Good game, though. I really enjoyed that. But... Ah! I'm not gonna give my opinions now because... No. I have to make a full video about that. A good 20-minute video about that. No. Anyways, we're down to our last 10 minutes. Um, so my question, finally, like I said, with the fact that the Sonic trailer was announced and released, and the fact that it's going to be released on Valentine's Day for next year, are you guys going to go see it? Yes. I don't sure know, not. Christina. Are we going to see it? Probably. All Maybe. right. That'll be the perfect date. Let's go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, then. Jesus Christ. All right. You heard it here. It, it's so over. Vince, His voice got it? deeper. He's, uh, he said, All right. Yeah, All sure. right. Stop yeah. it. Oh. Stop it. Why Vince, not? <laughs> are, are you going to see it, Vince? I don't know. Should I? Your choice. <laughs> Maybe. Christina, okay. you're the leader. Tell him what to do. Do it now. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, Johnny Bravo, geez. Sound like the dark Sith over there, yeah. 
Do it now. Anyways. <laughs> do it. <laughs> we're down to the last eight minutes. Just do so it. So we're going to end this on a, another roasting again because we have, apparently that's been our fan favorite and it's just funnier, honestly. Again. I don't want to roast. Why? What do you want to do for the final segment? Did you know? I want <laughs> to make everything positive. So I'm going to say everything good about... Oh, do, do, um, vibe, do we have to do a vibe check? I want to see everything <laughs> good about... Uh, Fine. Okay, here's an idea. Uh, okay, 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 okay. We'll say something uh, uh, good about our favorite video game. How about that? Positivity. I like Yu-Gi-Oh! My favorite archetype is Elemental Hero. We noticed. All right, I think I'm going to be part of that. You guys have and... favorites? <laughs> wow. My question is, what's what's one good positive thing about your favorite video game, and what video game is it? Huh? Okay, I like Team Fortress 2. Why? And my favorite thing is hat trading. It's like the stock market, but it makes me less depressed. Okay. <laughs> Joy! What about you, Tara? What's your favorite video game, and why do you like it? And what's uh, one good thing about it? Okay. Uh, honestly, I would have to say the yeah, Metroid series. I love the Metroid series. Okay. Why do you like it? Amazing. Um, Samus is the best and most badass female character in the game, hands down. Um, I love the way that the energy beams and all that were put into play. Like her whole character setup. It's something that's unique in the nintendo verse that i think really just kind of stuck out okay what about you vince what's your favorite video game why do you like it and why is it your favorite my favorite video game of all time actually has to go down to the mega man x series why do you like it i like it so much because well one i grew up with it so that kind of helped with it being my first console was the super nintendo oh damn good old days but other than that, it was just challenging. Like, I remember uh, when I was playing Mario Brothers and, like, everything else, I thought it was easy. Oh, but yeah. I was a kid who was extremely bored who played eight hours a day. Not anymore. <laughs> but uh, playing Mega Man X was an actual challenge to beat. And to the point that um, I could just beat it now, like, I could just beat it really easy now. It's, like, memorized. The so only exception, I would say, is Mega Man X7. That game was terrible. So why is this Mega Man game your favorite? Um, it's just my favorite because it's just challenging. It's just challenging platforming. That's really it. Like the my when I played Super Mario World, my favorite part of that whole game was the rainbow stages. Yeah, those are complicated. Those are really hard, and I always loved that. That's why I kind of love Mario Maker at the moment. I can pick like an extremely hard level and just play it. I just love hard platforming, and whenever I played it like play a Mario game, I always thought it was just kind of easy. So when I pick up Mega Man, I just feel like, oh, these are actually challenging. I love these levels and stuff like that. I just love hard platforming games, really. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so me personally, my favorite is still going to be Luigi's Mansion, the whole series itself. Yeah. Don't of say. I, I wonder what makes it super obvious. Whoa! Oh, what a spoiler! All right, we what got five spoiler. minutes. Let's uh, cut it out of here. <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, so I'm Too Vincent. You can episode. find me on the Vincent. <laughs> you guys are total jerks. <laughs> no, no, you got 50 seconds. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Anyways, what I was going to say is why I like the series is because the fact that it's a puzzle game and it's actually different compared to like other Mario games that we all know of, you know, just jumping around and whatever. I also like the fact that um, it's very, it actually has like more of a spooky fun tone compared to like, you know, all the bright colors that we're so used to. And I just like the fact that it actually shows more of like the family side of it compared to like what we normally see. I actually like that a lot. I actually, after finishing up the third game, I'm like, yeah, I still like the series. It's still really solid. Really, really bizarre, but really, really solid for what it is. Why is it my favorite? Well, besides the fact it has, well, my favorite character. I'm not going to freaking hide that anymore because, I mean, I kind of make it super obvious anyways. Ian, you're scaring the crap out of me. Jesus Christ, Ian, you scared me. It's my favorite as well, just just because I'm a more of a puzzle person. I like puzzle games. 
Puzzle games are definitely more my favorite thing. I like puzzles. I like anything that's not gonna totally kill my brain. Makes me think, but not totally kill me. Because I'm very good at apparently destroying a lot of things. That reminds me, Mario Rabbids was a good game too. That one is really fun. That one is a real fun game. I actually enjoy that. Really, really unique art style. Really unique texturing. Just, that one's really unique. But, no, I really enjoyed the Luigi's Mansion series. Definitely one of my favorites. The music, I like. It just gets repetitive really, really quick. Which gets really, really annoying. But overall, really fun series. I enjoy it. I kind of grew up on it. But at the same time, I'm like, it's fun. I just like puzzles. And it's definitely one of my favorite puzzle games. Not gonna lie. Definitely one of my favorites. So, with that kind of happy, positive, scary note, Ian... I could see your hat there. You're scaring the crap out of me. I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing, dude? Jeez. Ian, you're scaring me. Alrighty, so. Anyways. We gotta cut this out. Who, <laughs> do, <five laughs> check. who do we got here so we could close out with whoever we got here? Ian, you want to say who you are and... My are name is Ian Pabito. You can find me at <laughs> ipabito.com. Check out the contact and email me randomly for any voice acting related questions, answers, or requests. My voiceover rating Whoa. is question mark. Check me out. Find him on Instagram under I am Pabito. That's all I need to know, guys. He talks too much. <laughs> Anyways, who else do we got? Terra, uh, terrible insight on Instagram. Nice. And who else do we got? You can, uh, Vincent. You can find me on the the Vincent Graham Adventure. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm Christina. You can find me on Instagram under Nintendo Lady, where I like to post a lot, mainly of the artwork stuff I do, and sometimes other shenanigans here and there. But other than that, we are gonna skedaddle on out of here and. See you guys in the Galar region next week. With that sense stone, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.